The space industry in New Zealand is actually kind of off to a roaring start. This is a, an area that I didn't predict would be a huge area for New Zealand, but in hindsight now, it actually makes a lot of sense. Things are going really fast, much faster than, than I would have expected five years ago. In New Zealand, we know that there is already a big tech base. The government is very progressive and, and also now interested in the space industry. You got Rocket Lab now who's like starting to uh, you know, have launch services. So all of the ingredients for creating a space industry is now in place. People that we talk to know that they're in the right time to uh, initiate projects that just support workforce development, um, support startups, and uh, support community building. New Zealand has a unique location that is good for launching certain satellites to certain orbits. So the geography is actually an advantage in some ways. There are data scientists here, there are programmers here, there's ability to launch here, there's a great location for launching, there's great regulatory environment. The overarching huge theme is really around going from these huge uh, satellites to much smaller satellites and that has opened up new business for small launch vehicles. Normally uh, if you wanted to work on a space project you would have to uh, go to one of the few places that where the space projects were being worked on. It used to be you think that it's only for you know big governments and like the big aerospace companies because you're thinking about you know going to the moon, Mars and all of those kind of like big visions but space is not just that. If people can build, uh, you know, or playing with drones and things like that, you're really close now, that, now to making spacecraft. It's, they're, they're not that much different. It's not only technology that's been disrupted, it's also education that has been disrupted. In the past, you know, you'd think that you would need like a, another four-year degree in aerospace engineering to actually be, uh, you know, have a, a business in space because of the internet. Uh, it's, much, it's much more accessible uh, to kind of like break into the system. People are coming up with ideas all the time how to stop illegal fishing using these satellite systems. You can monitor some of the uh, invasive species uh, where they are in New Zealand every day. Uh, you can uh, check on the uh, health of the coral reefs. Our big vision is to democratize space for everyone so that nobody's left behind. If we can create a ecosystem um, in emerging countries, uh, of which like New Zealand is a perfect place to do it, um, we can potentially have the model for any country who wants to participate in this global space economy to actually be part of that uh, ecosystem. We can do great things here in New Zealand. How do we solve these open questions and come together to form regional policies that are going to attract entrepreneurs and investors Really, the, all these thing, dreams that have been going on for 20 or 30 years about going out to the moon and going to the asteroids, and all these things are, are, are starting to become real. And I think in the next five years, you will be uh, astounded by what is possible 